Hey guys, good morning, happy Monday, and welcome back to school. Um, yes, you guys are working from home, and we are continuing classes together. I am just so happy at least we get to, you know, kind of be together-ish through this video and Edsby. So today we're going to start our first lesson. And as you've read, we're going to be learning surface area today. If you did not do your minute math, go ahead and pause this video and um, go ahead and go back to your schedule. Do your minute math a bit to get, you know, your mind muscles moving. Go ahead and do that. Okay. If you did do it, let's continue. So make sure you have your math notebook and a pencil. Okay. As you've guessed, we are going to be doing minute math. I mean, a lot. Brain booster. So you know the drill, pause the video, try to solve it, and we're gonna go over the answers. So go ahead and pause in three, two, one. Okay, so I hope you guys solved it. We're gonna go for Panda. What'd you guys get for Panda? Panda is five. So next we have Robo. So we know that 10 times what plus 10 is 130. We got 12. So one Robo is six. Then for giraffe, 36 plus what is 43? Seven. So our equation is 14 plus five times six. 30 plus 14 equals 44, order of operations. Speaking of order of operations, we're going to go back and practice. Hope you guys remember. I'm gonna flash a problem on the board, on the screen, and you are going to press pause answer it, and then when you press play again, I'm gonna say the answer. Okay, so let's begin, ready? The first one, 12. Got it, 21, 141, 19. 24, 14, 21, and 12. Yes, did everyone get that? Yay, good job, guys. Okay, so back to basics. We are going to go back to geometry, go back to area. And what do you guys remember about finding the area? What is the formula for a rectangle. Length times width. What is the formula for a square? Length times width, same, right? So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna be finding the area of a 3D shape, just like last year. Okay, so what you remember from area is the same thing as surface area, it's just 3D. So you are gonna be finding the area of each side and just adding them all together, just like um, you did last year. So remember last year we did found the area of this and then we multiplied it by two because it's the same thing. Then we found the area of this, then multiplied it by two because it's the same. Then we found the area of this and then we multiplied it by two because it's the same. Then you add it all together. This year we're going to be finding the surface area but incorporating our formula. Okay, so let's begin. All right, so go ahead and pause the video. You're gonna write your title. Um, what's nice about this is you don't have to copy the notes, but I do need to see you solving as we go. So just to be on the organized side of things, please write your title. So go ahead and pause and write that down. Okay. So what is surface area? As we said earlier, surface area is the total area of the surface of a 3D object. In our case today, we're gonna to be doing rectangular prisms. So for example, the surface area of a cube is the area of all six faces added together. So let's look at our rectangular prism. We're going to find the area of this shape. So we have the height of nine, the width of five, and the length of 12. I'm gonna to explain to you, sometimes we get confused at which ones are length and width, but today you don't really have to worry about that, and I'm gonna to explain to you why later. 
So let's go ahead and take your pencil. We're going to write down this formula. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to. Surface area equals 2 times width times height plus length times width plus length times height. Well, what? It's so confusing. Don't worry. I'm going to show you. So let's begin. We're going to find the area of this side plus the area of this plus the area of this. And then what do we do? We multiply it by 2. So let's go ahead and do that with our formula. So go ahead and pause the video and you're gonna fill this out by yourself. So let me just show you. Width times height, which is the yellow part. Go ahead and write that down. Five times nine plus, what'd you guys get? 12 times five or five times 12 plus 12 times nine. All right, so go ahead and solve that by yourself. Okay, we got two, open parentheses, 45 plus 60 plus 108. And then what'd you guys get for your total? Two times 213. And then our product is surface area equals 426 centimeters square. Don't forget your, um, your units. Okay, so you guys did really good on that. Um, just to show you, let me just go ahead and write my answer. Um, be sure that you um, write down your notes properly. So I'm just going to show you. Make sure you have your title and your date. And this is like what your notebook should have. If you're not taking notes, make sure you have your formula and what we're working. Okay, so you're going to do one by yourself. Okay, this was forward. Sorry, this took so long. Okay, by yourself. So go ahead and find the surface area of this rectangular prism using the formula. So pause the video and go ahead and try and solve. Okay, so how did you guys do? I'm going to go ahead and read out the answer. So 2 times 42 plus 48 plus 56. It equals 2 times 146, which equals 292 centimeters square. How'd you guys do? Did everyone do pretty well? All right, so we have one more question. It's a long one. All right, so Kobe is wrapping two gifts with the same wrapping paper. The first gift box is 6 by 12 by 5 centimeters. The second is 20 by 10 by 9. He will need enough wrapping paper to cover the surface, plus 10% more for overlaps and folding. What? Don't worry. We're going to go over this together. So the first question is, what is the, area, the surface area of the first gift? What is the surface area of paper should Kobu buy in centimeters to wrap both gifts? So we're going to go to our board, just like in school. All right. So as I said earlier, remember how I told you um, you don't really need to worry about which one's the length and which one's the width? Because in this case, it doesn't indicate what it is. So you just have to remember that you're just finding the area of each number, I mean of each side. All right. So let's include our formula. So we have surface area equals 2. And you're going to make sure that you're um, writing the, the formula properly. So we're going to do 6 times 12. And then we're going to do 6 times 5. And then the last one, we're going to do 12 times 5. Because that covers all three. Okay. So let me just erase that. Whoa. Oh, huh, didn't erase it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. So you have 6 times 12. 6 times 5 so messy, plus 12 times 5. Okay, so you guys can pause the video and go ahead and try and solve by yourself. Um, I am going to just continue it, but again, just pause at any time or rewind at any time. Okay, so we got 2, 30. Okay, all right, so we got 2, 
And we're going to go and add those together. Let's do our easy ones together. 90. And then we're going to do 2 times 162, which equals 324 centimeters squared. Okay, so did everyone do pretty good on that? All right, so that is your first gift. We're gonna pause the video and you're gonna try by yourself to do um, gift number two. Whoa, that looks terrible. Okay, gift number two. So you have 20 by 10 by nine. Okay, so pause the video and go ahead and solve by yourself. Okay, so now I'm gonna continue it and we're just gonna change the color so you're not confused. All right, so we have surface area equals two times, so I'm gonna do this time plus this plus this. So we have 200, right, because 20 times 10 plus 20 times nine, which is 180. Plus, and the last one, 10 times nine, which is 90. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and just continue. So we have a 200 plus 180 is 380 plus 90. So hard writing on a mouse. And then we have, we're just gonna continue it, 470 equals um, 940 centimeters squared. Okay, so did everyone do pretty good on that? All right, so we went, went ahead and ready answered um, both A and B. So now we're gonna go back to letter C. Letter C says, how much paper should Kobu buy in centimeters square to wrap both gifts. So we know he'll need paper to wrap the gift plus 10%. So just leave that 10% away for a bit and we're gonna just find um, just how much paper he needs first. So we're gonna take 342 and add it to 940. So um, I need more space. Mm. It's okay, I'll just do it here. Or I'll do it here. Okay, so letter C. So we have 324 plus 940, so we got four, and we got six, we got 12. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, so we have 1,264 um, centimeters for paper. That's how much he needs for wrapping paper. Now we need 10%. So when you wanna add 10%, um, I know you guys remember from your jump math, anytime you, or from our previous lessons, when you want to find 10% of something, you multiply it by 0.10. So you can solve this, but a quick way we did is when you multiply it by 10, you just, all you do is move the decimal over to the left one time, right? Because there's one zero. So you move it over once. So 10% of 1,264 is 126.4. So once you get that answer, you're just gonna add the two numbers together. Okay, so we're gonna do our final part. We're gonna do 1,264, wait, let me just, there you go, um, 0 0.00, right? Because we're gonna just use it as our placeholder, plus 126, Point four. All right, so let's just find out this total. So zero, we have four. Six plus four is 10, zero carry the one. Six, seven, eight, nine. Two plus one is three. And then we bring our one. So for letter C, we'll be needing 1,390.40 centimeters square of paper. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You just find the area of both, 
add it together and then add 10% of that. I know it seems a little difficult, but we're just gonna do more practice. All right, so good job today, guys. Um, your homework today is to look on your math schedule. So if you look here, um, we already watched the video, you're gonna answer the Nelson link. So, um, should load. Okay, so you guys are gonna answer this. You're going to put everything in your notebook. So you're gonna write number one, two, three, four. I think there's 11 questions. Yeah, 11 questions. So show your work. Um, the cool part is I already did this part with you guys. I just change the name, change the number. So you can do five, six, and seven by yourself. Um, for one through four, you're just finding the area by counting the cubes, centimeter square. Um, don't worry too much about number 10 and 11. Um, if you need help on it, you can message me. But the cool thing is, is after you do answer this, like you're going to write your name and you try and um, figure out what your answer is like this, yes or no, um, you're, let me write your answers. When you're done um, checking your work, it'll say if you got it right or not. And if you got it wrong, you can find the answer and then solve it to try and figure out how they got that. Okay, but this here is just the same exact thing that we did earlier. All right, so message me if you guys need any help. When you're done with that, you're going to do your fun resources. And this is surface area practice. And this game is really helpful because um, it shows you examples and tells you if you get it right or not. It takes quite a while. You just have to like wait. Hmm. Hopefully your internet's faster than mine. Yeah, so find the surface area of this and just practice. You can do it mentally or you can solve it on your notebook. All right, guys, so great job today. I will see you guys later. Um, have a good day and I'll send you another video tomorrow. Bye.